Hey everybody, to, um, welcome back to another awesome episode where I'm going to walk you through some amazing tips and tricks and tools that you can use to market yourself and your business. Today I want to walk you through a mini chat. There's a lot of talk out there about messenger bots right now. And so I'm going to do a couple of videos. If you think it's a great idea, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up, give me a yeah, give me more mini chat, give me some more messenger bot. And I will definitely do that. So today, though, I'm going to start by showing you how to use, um, specifically, how to use ManyChat kind of as a replacement for a lead magnet or a webinar registration, kind of using it on a landing page of some form. I'll give you a few options to do that. So to start, um, when we go into ManyChat, you know, you can just get there by ManyChat.com. And then on the left side, there's all these different options. Go to Growth Tools. And the two that work amazing for lead magnets, for really anything a, a typical like lead magnet would be on a funnel page or a website where it's sign up for something, registration, a lead magnet, a webinar, um, anything like that. The two main options are going to be the embeddable widgets right here, um, the button and the box. The big difference um, between the two is button, it's literally just the button, so all the text is gonna have to be designed around it. The box is kind of a standalone thing where you can put text and a title and an image right in there. Functionally, they're basically the same. So I'm gonna put test just for now. Um, I'm gonna call it homepage test because I'm gonna use it on the homepage of my website. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the button, but like I said, they are literally the same functionally speaking. Um, the difference is just in the design of it. So I'm going to use button for now, but explore the box option. Um, and so like I said, the button, it's really, it's just right here. And, you know, there's a few options. I kind of like send a messenger because it's just easier. Um, they don't have to check a box. They just hit the button and they're signed up. And so there's really nothing more to it than that. Send a messenger. You have to put text around it on the page itself. Um, and then on the submitted state, there's a few ways you can do it. So for me, I'm going to install it on my home page as an alternative to a name and email for a lead magnet. And I've seen people do it a few ways. If you're going to, like, so in this scenario, um, I'm going to put it as an alternative to right here. So they can give me their name and email, um, or they can send it to Messenger and say, would you like to get this in Messenger instead? Um, there's, there's two options. Uh, most of the time, I'll go ahead and say redirect to URL, and then as soon as they hit, um, as soon as they hit send, it's going to forward them to the thank you page on the funnel itself. The difference is, is if you go don't redirect to URL, then they're going to have to, then the next thing is going to freeze on this view it in messenger page, and they're going to have to go through many chat, in which case just make sure that in the chat itself, you have it set up to um, send them back to the thank you page, especially if you're doing like Facebook ads and tracking conversions and such. You're going to want to get them to the thank you page. The second scenario um, is going to be putting this option on the thank you page. So a lot of times get their name and email up front. And then on the thank you page, that's where a lot of people will put the messenger bot um, in my case, I want to push people to my Facebook group, um, so I want to get them here, and I want the main call to action on the thank you page here. But a lot of people, you know, on the home page, the home page is going to be give me your name and email to sign up for this, and then awesome, just hit this send a messenger button to get your lead magnet. That works fantastic as well, and you get them in both places. Um, so those are the two main strategies. So let's go ahead and just get this installed. Um, so like I said, I'm going to redirect to URL, redirect to the thank you page after they've submitted, and you can choose in a new tab or in the current tab. I'm going to do a new tab just so they still see my home page, um, and then all this good stuff, we'll go over this stuff in a different video, but let me know if you have any questions. Um, Opt-in message is as easy as... Well, you can choose whatever you want. Hey, here's your lead magnet. Just click the button below to download. And then this next part's the only tricky thing is you have to put this JavaScript. Obviously, you have to 
make sure that your website is added to this list. And then you have to put this JavaScript um, in between the head tags. So the same place you go put your Facebook tracking pixel. Um, I'm on ClickFunnels. There is a 14-day free trial if you like how easy this is that you can get through my affiliate link in the description for this video. Um, or you can just install this wherever all of your tracking codes are also installed on your own website. It works pretty much on any website possible. So I'm going to go ahead and put this here. This is just the code that helps your other code communicate back to Minichat. Um, so I have that there. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and Let's see, so finish that, so that's the stock code. Then here's the widget itself. And I'm gonna grab that, and then this is where, um, in ClickFunnels, it's just an easy custom, custom uh, JavaScript or HTML editor, and you can drop it right in there. Um, and then in my scenario, I'll probably say something straightforward like um, or sign up with messenger just to be crystal clear what's what's going on here and then when you hit save obviously you'll if you do it this way you do have to set up in many chat the actual delivery of it which I'm not going to do right now um, but don't forget to save it here and don't forget to make it active before you go and try to test anything out. Um, but so then I'm going to hit save. And then go to, um, for me, it's matthewtims.com. And there's my website. And then send me the guide. It pops it up. Then I go, look it. I can sign up here. Or it's right there. Or sign up with Messenger. Um, as soon as I hit that button, it should then, let's see. Ah, super. So, so then as soon as I do that, then boom, 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 I can go view it in Messenger, or as long as there's a good, um, as long as it's going to allow the, the new tab to open up, it should send me to the thank you page as well, which is right there. And then, boom, click the button, sign up for my, um, jump into my Facebook group, all that good stuff. And you can see my Messenger tab opened up, and it's chatting with me like crazy. So, if you have any questions about that, um, or you want other tutorials, I would love to hear your thoughts. If you like Minichat, if you don't like Minichat, don't even care about Messenger bots, that is totally up to you, if you like it or if you do not. Uh, but I would love to hear your thoughts if you have any cool tricks that you're doing for mini chat or messenger bots, specifically for lead magnets and registrations. Otherwise, if you found this useful, I would love for you to subscribe to, the, to my channel, give me a like on this video, drop a comment below. Um, and if you want any of these resources in this video, links are in the description. Um, but until next time, happy marketing, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.